Lord Renard has today been questioned under caution by police over allegations of sexual impropriety. It's a sobering moment for the man who once held the most senior job in the Liberal Democrat machine, sobering too, perhaps, for the party leader, Nick Clegg, who last week admitted the Lib Dems had failed women who'd made complaints for decades. Cathy Newman reports. Lord Renard used to be described as a legend, a guru, a man more powerful than the leader of the party he belongs to. But the Liberal Democrats have cast him into the political wilderness. Today he was questioned at a South London police station over allegations of sexual impropriety first revealed by this programme. One of the women whose interview with Channel 4 News prompted the police inquiry told me that she was pleased her complaints were being taken seriously. I think all along this has been a, a story which has been played out in the media in, in certain terms, but actually the police have taken it very, very seriously and have just focused very much on the question of whether wrongdoing has happened. I think it will give encouragement to women to speak out and um, for uh, allegations such as this to always be taken seriously. Bridget Harris, a former advisor to the Lib Dem leader Nick Clegg, was one of three women who spoke out about Lord Renard's behaviour in February. He was touching my legs and touching my knees and he did it two or three times and the first time I, I thought it was an accident and I sort of crossed my legs. Then the second time I realised he was actually doing it and then when he tried a sort of a third time I basically had to physically move away from him. He um, uh, just very suddenly got up and, um, and plunked himself between us and um, started moving his hands down their backs to places you know, where they had absolutely no business being. Gradually his hands started to rub the outside of my leg. I thought at first he'd just brushed against me, then I moved away and it happened again. And he moved closer and I moved away again and he moved closer and he just kept brushing parts of me that I didn't want to be brushed. The women told us that senior figures knew about Lord Renard's activities but failed to take swift or decisive action. After our original report, Nick Clegg insisted for days he was completely unaware of allegations against the peer until we broadcast them, lashing out at what he called self-appointed detectives in the media. He was forced several times to change his story about why Lord Renard quit as the party's chief executive in 2009, before finally admitting he was aware of claims the peer had behaved inappropriately. Hi there, it's Cathy Newman here from Channel 4 News, or what you might call a, a self-appointed detective. I just wanted to clear up, really, at the weekend you said that Lord Renard quit on health grounds. Now, in what you've just been saying to, to Nick earlier on in the programme, uh, you appear to be accepting that his behaviour was part of the reason he went, is that right? He left on, on health grounds, but of course the uh, issues that, um, that we, you know, the issues of his inappropriate behaviour were, in were in the background, of course they were. Lord Renard continues to deny the allegations and said through a spokesman... We can confirm that Lord Renard agreed to meet with the police and that he welcomed his first opportunity to refute the basis of allegations made against him. We do not intend to make any further statement until the conclusion of the police inquiry. That a man who pulled the strings of a succession of leaders is tonight at the centre of a criminal investigation is a bitter blow to a party which put a commitment to equality at the heart of its last election manifesto. And in the weeks to come, Lib Dems from the leader down will face serious questions about why, for years, they failed to do enough to adequately investigate alleged sexual impropriety by their most senior employee. Well, the Liberal Democrats told this programme this evening that they have no formal statement to make, but have been working with the police since February and will continue to do so.